All right, so our candy making recipe, we have 145 grams of sugar, 25 grams of cornstarch, we're gonna add to that. As best we can. We have 0.5 grams of cream of tartar, or potassium bitartrate. And then we have 40 milliliters of water. I'm gonna add some of that to the bitartrate to get all of it in there. So we're gonna take this mixture, give it a quick stir. Doesn't really matter, you stir it too much. And then we're gonna set that on a hot plate. Crank that up to 10. So we're gonna allow that to mix and heat up until eventually it gets into boiling range. And then as it boils, it's going to continue to heat up, and we're going to go until it hits up to 130 degrees. And to measure that, we're going to use a candy thermometer. Okay. So while that's heating up, and while we're getting this out, we're going to plan the rest of it. So that includes picking out what flavor we're going to do. We're going to do orange cream here. And then we also need to pick out our food coloring, and then we need to prep our parchment paper. But once that has heated up to 130 degrees, we're going to add the flavoring to it. We're going to add about a milliliter of it. And then we're going to put that into two kind of sets on here with some oil on there to keep it from sticking. And then we're going to go ahead and oil up our hands so it doesn't stick to our hands too much. And then as it cools, we're going to get it and we're going to produce a couple of candy canes from it. So we're now at the point where our mixture is boiling. What we want to do now is make sure that everything else is prepped. So I'm going to zoom out here. So what you need to have at this point is you need to have a cookie sheet or something that's sturdy that has a parchment paper that's got a little bit of vegetable oil on it to prevent it from sticking. Uh, you want your food coloring uncapped and ready to go. You want your flavoring ready to go. So I've got a milliliter of orange flavor in this ready to put into there once that hits 130. Right now we're coming up to 120, so we're getting there. And then you also want to have a little bit of paper towel ready so that you can clean off your hands. And what's going to happen is when that's, when it's at the right temperature, we're going to add the flavoring, give it a quick stir, and we're going to pour it into two strips on here to cool down that we can manipulate. We're going to put our food coloring on then, but we're not going to stir it up. Okay. While those are cooling, we're going to take this and put some water in it so that it starts to dissolve that leftover sugar and stuff that's on there so we can clean it easier later. And then we're going to go ahead and hopefully these will be cool at the point where we can handle them. And then we're going to go ahead and make some candy canes as best we can. Okay, we're at 130, a little above. We're going to add our flavor and drop by drop. And that should mix pretty well on its own, but we're just going to give it a quick stir. We're going to take our stirring rod and our thermometer out. We're going to put them in another clean beaker that's never been used for anything but this before. We're going to go ahead and take our mixture out. Nice two cool strips. So the more we can kind of split this up, the cooler it'll fast and easier it'll be to handle. I'm going to do one that's a little bigger than the other so I can handle the smaller one first. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put this under water while that's cooling. Let that soak while we do the rest. So now we want to do our food coloring. Oh, looks like we're mixing a little bit here. What I want to do is I want to do an orange with the red. And then I'm going to do the other one just yellow. Kind of have an orange and yellow mix. Okay, so now we're going to wash our hands, get them oiled up. Should be good to go. So if it's too hot, it's going to stick to your fingers too much to kind of work with. So you get it just right. Should be able to kind of Pile this up, start mixing it together. I guess it makes sense to do our smaller one first, like we said. So 
we're going to mix this up and get the flavor mixed in nicely, get the color mixed in nicely, and then we'll work on shaping it. I'm going to do the pure color first, that way it keeps it a little bit more. Let's go ahead and get this other one. Now we're going to try and get this into smaller pieces without letting the rest cool down too quickly. And then shake them. That's it. We just go ahead and shape them from there, and you can make whatever shape you want, but you can do a traditional candy cane, you can mix them, you can leave them plain.